hello friends welcome to vidya's cooking channel this is vidya lakshmi today i'm back with a new recipe i'm going to show you how i prepared broccoli and cauliflower soup this broccoli and cauliflower soup was so creamy and so tasty it does not require any ingredients that is going to be harmful for diabetes so i've already pre-cleaned the broccoli and cauliflower i've done a detailed video how to clean broccoli and cauliflower so do visit that i'll post the link in the i card above this video i've already cleaned the broccoli and cauliflower now in a pot i've added water i'll add the broccoli and cauliflower we'll add onion chili uh, we'll add soaked almonds and we are going to cook the broccoli and cauliflower with some skimmed milk so this is a very tasty recipe nowadays we get broccoli in abundance and you can find it everywhere every street vendor is selling broccoli now so this is perfect time to try all the broccoli recipes it's high in iron and it's very good for diabetic people so do give this recipe a try friends people who hate cauliflower and broccoli will really enjoy this this is a meal on its own for diabetic people now i've added salt once the water starts to boil we'll add milk we have to cook the broccoli and cauliflower till it's nice and soft all the ingredients used in this recipe along with a detailed blog post will be listed in the description box below this video or you can click the i card above this video which will direct you to my blog in the blog i posted a detailed recipe all the links to my social media handle that is facebook instagram twitter will be in the description box below this video once I've cooked the broccoli and cauliflower, I removed it from the flame, allowed it to cool down completely. Then we are going to just remove the broccoli and cauliflower, that onion, chilies, almonds. We'll add it to a mixer jar and grind it into a very smooth paste. Once you grind this into a smooth paste, we will transfer this back into the milk. Stir it once, bring it to a boil. We can add pepper powder and little bit of salt as per taste and we can serve it up this is a very simple recipe do try this friends but just look out for the nut allergies or any consulting uh, nutritionist who has given you the diet chart please follow that and prepare this recipe because many nutritionists they don't agree with almonds for diabetic people you have to check that but they will definitely agree with you eating 90% of veggies in your regular meal so how do you incorporate 90% of veggies for your regular meal this is how you have to take one meal uh, or one snack as soup and then you have to take some salads you will have to adjust it with some rotis and uh, you will also have to uh, intake some um, vegetables with your rotis and rice so you have to uh, manipulate your diabetic level according to your nutritionist and your doctors please follow your consulting doctors and nutritionists and prepare the recipes so i'll be posting all the uh, recipes which is recommended by my nutritionist for my mother and even for me for my diet so even this is very good and healthy for people who want to reduce weight so it's a very nice and healthy recipe give this recipe a try friends once my broccoli soup has started to boil i'll just remove it from the flame and we're going to serve it the thickness was perfect and uh, it was a nice creamy soup i've not added any cream i've not used any mother any corn flour it is just skim milk broccoli and almonds it's very nice and healthy for you it's very good for you try this recipe and post your comments if you enjoyed watching this video recipe give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more recipes it does not have to be only for diabetic people and for diet people anybody can prepare this recipe and even for kids you can give this it's a very nice healthy recipe try it and post your comments i'll be seeing you soon with the next recipe video this is vidya lakshmi thank you so much for watching Bye bye